Hi everyone. Now we shall look into the solution of question number 7 from exercise 12.1. The question is as follows. You can pause the video and take down the question. Let us go to the solution now. The first part is identifying the objective function. Z is equal to 5x plus 10y is the objective function. Let us have a look at the constraints. Normally, every problem is given two constraints. In this problem, we are going to find three constraints x plus 2y less than or equal to 120, x plus y greater than or equal to 60, x minus 2y greater than or equal to 0. So, we have three constraints particularly given for this problem and also x and y being non-negative are the common constraints given for every problem. So, let us start solving the question by taking one constraint at a time. So, first constraint is x plus 2y less than or equal to 120. Since we are using graphical method, we will try to convert this inequality into an equation to find out a, a line which will help us to define the feasible region. So, we convert it into an equation x plus 2y equal to 120. The less than or equal to symbol is replaced with equals. So, by uh, solving this equation by substituting x and y alternatively with 0, we will get the intercepts at x and y. Here, first we substitute x equal to 0, we get the y intercept 60. Later, we substitute y equal to 0, we get the x intercept 120. By looking at the tabular column, we can identify two points there. One is 0, 60 another one is 120, 0 which are the two intercepts. Let us arbitrarily name the two points as A and B. Now, if we try to plot this point, these two points on the graph, we get the following graph. See the two points A and B are connected by a line which is nothing but actually x plus 2y is equal to 120. So, to identify all the points which are less than or equal to 120, we see the shaded diagram. See here, to check whether we should shade the lower left side or the upper right side, what we do is, we substitute the given inequality, not the equation, but the e inequality with the origin value. That is, substitute x as 0 and y as 0. If we do that, we get the answer as 0 less than or equal to 120, which is a true statement. That means, the origin is contained in the visible region or the region that should be shaded should also con contain the origin. So, hence we shade the lower left region. Now, let us have a look at the next constraint which is x plus y greater than or equal to 60. We will again convert this one into an equation to get the line that separates the visible region. Now, x plus y equal to 60 is a straight line. Let us try to use this to find two points which are intercepts at x and y axis. First, we substitute x equal to 0, we get y equal to 60. Next, we substitute y equal to 0, we get x equal to 60. Hence, the tabular column. The two points are 0, 60 and 60, 0. Let us arbitrarily call them as C and D. Now, it is time to plot C and D on the graph. Let us have a look at only this inequality. Here, I am separately looking at these equations so that since there are three constraints, let us analyze them one by one. So, now when we look at this one, if we substitute 0, 0 in x and y in this equation, what happens is we get 0 plus 0 that is 0 greater than 60. See, great, 0 cannot be greater than or equal to 60. Hence, the origin is not contained on the side which should be shaded. Since uh, the origin is on the left lower side, we will shade the right upper side. So, this time, we got an inequality which uh, does not hold true for the origin. Hence, we took the opposite side. Now, if we consider both the inequalities together, then among these two lines, what, what we observe, see x plus 2y equal to 120 is there. All the points which are on the lower side of this, 
and the other line x plus y equal to 60 all the points above them means the shaded region here gives the visible region but not completely true yet because we have one more constraint to take care of so let us go for the last constraint to take care that is x minus 2 y greater than or equal to 0 here again the same step we convert it into an equation we try to get the intercepts but what happens is when you substitute x equal to 0 and solve the equation we get y also equal to 0 which means we don't get an intercept on x and y the point actually is the origin right x is 0 y is also 0 so we don't get two different points to mark the straight line we cannot plot a straight line on the graph what to do there is another method what we can do is we can compare this constraint with the other two constraints given by solving simultaneous equation we will get an intersecting point that is what we have done here you can observe that the one of the constraint was x plus 2y equal to 120 and the present constraint that is x minus 2y equal to 0 when we simultaneous equation when we solve that x plus x becomes 2x 2y and minus 2y cancels lining up 2x equal to 120 if 2x is 120 then x is equal to 60 substitute this x equal to 60 back in the first equation we get 60 plus 2y equal to 120 by solving that we get y is equal to 30 so we can consider x 60 and y 30 that is 60 comma 30 as the next point so similarly we can consider the second constraint which was given with the present constraint the second constraint was x plus y equal to 60 that when we try to solve along with x minus 2y the present constraint if, if we add none of the uh, variables x or y disappears so what we do is instead of adding we subtract so x and x cancels and uh, y and the present uh, symbol of 2y is plus hence it becomes addition so we add it and we get 3y equal to 60 if 3y is equal to 60 then y is equal to 20 so when this value of y we substitute in the first equation we get x is equal to 40 hence we get a new point now x 40 and y 20 40 comma 20 we can see three points here let us name them as some O, P and Q. O is for the origin 0, 0 and P and Q for the newly obtained two points. Let us try to plot this on the graph. So we have three inequalities now. All the three inequalities if we try to plot them on the graph. This is what this answer looks like. But the shaded region which we had previously. You can have a look at that. That exists on both sides of the line opq the line which joins pq on both sides you have answers which one is the feasible region see to check that we cannot substitute 0 0 also in the given equation because when you substitute 0 0 you are going to get the origin again origin lies on the line not on the left side or the right side so now what to do there is another idea what we do is we take the line we've got from that inequality that is x minus 2y greater than or equal to 0 we name it as a star the inequality as star now we will take any two arbitrary points on both sides uh, either on x axis and y axis here what i have done is see i am considering 0 comma 10 you can consider 0 comma 1 0 comma 2 anything but kindly take one point on the y axis here i have taken 0 comma 10 we substitute that in the inequality okay in the inequality star in the inequality star when you put 0 comma 10 see x is 0 and y is 10 so it is 0 minus 2 into 10 greater than or equal to 0 so further solution gives minus 20 greater than or equal to 0 so minus 20 cannot be greater than or equal to 0 so which is a false statement means that point 0 comma 10 does not belong to the feasible region okay then let us take one point from the x axis so here I am considering 10 comma 0 which is another point you can consider 1 comma 0 or 2 comma 0 any number 100 comma 0 any number which is on the x axis here I substitute this point that is 10 comma 0 in the inequality star again. So when you put x as 10 and y as 0 see what happens in the inequality it becomes 10 minus 2 into 0 which is 10 greater than or equal to 0 obviously 10 is greater than or equal to 0 which is a true statement. Hence, we can say 10, 0 belongs to the feasible region. 
So, ever let us have a look at the graph once more. See, look at the graph. In the graph, what happens is 10 comma 0. Where does 10 comma 0 come? It will be on the lower side, left lower, uh, right lower side of the line. If you observe the points O, P, Q, the line which is drawn through them O, P and Q, on the right lower side, the point 10 comma 0 will exist. Whereas 0 comma 10 exists on the left side, left upper side, which is false. That point does not belong to the visible region. Hence, the actual visible region that we require is bounded by the points P, Q, B and D, which is shaded in the given problem. Okay, So, we can call that as the visible region and this is our sure uh, region for visibility. Okay. Now, let us have corner points. Which are the corner points for the given visible region? The corner points are P, 40,20, Q, 60,30, B, 120,0, D, 60,0. Now, it is time to find the values of Z for these corner points. So, in the table here, let us go by one by one. Serial number 1 gives the corner point 40,20. So, we substitute x as 40 and y as 20 in the objective function z. See, in the next column, you will find the answer z is equal to 5 into 40, where 5 into x it is. So, x becomes 40. So, 5 into 40 plus 10 into 20, where y value is replaced as 20, which is further, if you simplify, it gets 200 plus 200, which is 400. The value of z is 400. Similarly, at point q, x is 60 and y is 30, substitute these values in the z objective function, which is 5 into 60 plus 10 into 30, giving us 300 plus 300, that is again 600. Okay. Third point, b, which is 120 comma 0, where x is 120 and y is 0. So, z becomes 5 into 120 plus 10 into 0, 5 into 120 is 600, 10 into 0 is 0. So, once more, we are getting the answer 600. And the last point to substitute is D, 60,0. X is 60, Y is 0. So, Z is equal to 5 into 60 plus 10 into 0, which is equal to 300 plus 0, that is 300. So, they have asked us to both maximize and minimize the objective function. So, looking at the maximum value, which is 600, we can say that this is the optimal value as maximum. And another optimal value which is the minimum is 300 which is the least value. So, we have got both maximum and minimum safely we can say therefore, the objective function z is equal to 5x plus 10y has the maximum value of 600 at two different points that is 60 comma 30 and 120 comma 0. It has its minimum value of 300 at only one point that is 60 comma 0. So, we got the answer. Now, in case if you have missed any of the solutions of the previous problems, you can click on the playlist available here or you could subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get re regular notifications on any latest updates. Thank you.